Hey, I'm Melissa. The phrase fruit of the spirit is mentioned in the Bible in a lot of Christian teachings, but what are these fruits and why are we talking about fruit anyway? Today, let's talk about what the fruit of the spirit is and why it's a good measure of your faith journey. Let's start by looking at the context of Galatians 5, 22 through 23. In Galatians chapter 5, the Apostle Paul talks about how Christ has given us freedom from the fear of sin and messing up. Jesus has truly set us free from being slaves to sin. This freedom comes with a caveat though. Just because we can do something, that doesn't mean we always should. We could follow our natural desires, but then we would suffer the consequences of harmful, unhealthy practices, which ultimately hurt us and those around us. In contrast, Paul talks about allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us, rather than our natural desires. The result of being led by the Spirit is, you guessed it, the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, let's put a pin in that for a minute. Why is Paul talking about fruit anyway? Well, the Bible uses a lot of agricultural metaphors because they were easily understood by the highly agricultural society of the time. Imagine our faith as a tree with branches that may or may not produce fruit, depending on how well we take care of the tree itself. If we give the tree nourishment, God's word, then it'll grow bigger. If we clear away weeds and insects, sinful tendencies, then we keep the tree healthy. And if we consult a professional gardener, God, then we'll ensure we're on the right track and eventually that tree will produce fruit. All right, now remember what Galatians 5, 22 through 23 said was the fruit of being led by the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These character traits are the results we should see in our lives after receiving the Holy Spirit and tending to our hearts. The Holy Spirit helps us develop these godly characteristics as we live our everyday lives. Our sinfulness produces rotted, poisoned fruit that reflects our sinful nature and hurts us in the end. On the other hand, the Holy Spirit produces beautiful, nourishing fruit that reflects God's nature and will ultimately benefit our lives and the lives of those around us. If you struggle with showing the fruit of the Spirit in your life, it's okay. We will all struggle and fail sometimes. And we can conquer too. Strive for, work for, and yearn for the fruits of the Spirit. Learn to practice obedience to His guidance when you make choices and be open to His input. It might be really, really hard at first, but the results will be worth it. Over time, the Holy Spirit will transform you into someone more loving, joyful, peaceful, patient, kind, good, faithful, and gentle, and you'll have control over your words and actions. We hope we've helped you understand what the fruit of the Spirit is and how it can be cultivated in your life. Watch for our future videos that will break down each of these traits and give some examples too. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We answer questions like this every day, so visit 412teens.org to ask your own spiritual questions.